Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to another episode of Simple C++. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about printing using std print. Now, it's oftentimes useful if we can surface some of the internal state of our program out to the end user during runtime. And this can be useful for a number of different reasons. So we may want it for debugging, or we may want it just to show what our program is doing during you know, some part of execution. Now, one of the ways that we have to do this in modern C++, um, from C++23, is through std print. So let's go ahead and take a look at the CPP reference page for um, std print here. So here we can see that um, std print is a relatively new feature. Like I said, it's from C++23, and it's defined in this header print here. So one of the uh, nice things about C++ is there's this associated standard library. And that standard library is filled with all sorts of uh, containers, algorithms that can operate on those containers, and utilities like, like printing. So instead of having to reinvent the wheel, we can use things from the standard library. Now, as you can see here, right, these template definitions and these explanations can be a bit confusing. So I think std print is uh, uh, most easily understood by a direct example here, which they have on this page. So you can see they're including this um, print here. Um, that's where uh, the std print is going to be uh, defined, right? As it said, right up at the top, defined in this header. So that's how we get access to these things from the standard library. We have to include them using this inc these include statements. Then we have our main function here, right? The heart of all of our C++ programs, where they logically begin execution. And then we have this first use case of std print. Now in the basic form of std print, um, there's two major components. There's a formatted string, and then there's a list of arguments here that will take the place of whatever is in these curly brackets. And this is done um, based on these uh, indices, right? So if we go ahead and start and count our arguments starting at zero, hello would be zero, 23 would be one, and C++ the string here would be uh, two. So uh, when we go ahead and print this out, it'll print hello, right? Because it'll substitute in a uh, position zero here. C++, which is position two here, and then 23, which is position one here. And you can see the output as shown down here is hello C++ 23. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can do that on our own using Compiler Explorer. So the first thing we need to do, as we saw in that example, is we need to include that header print. So to do that, we'll add this preprocessor directive, uh, include, and then print, right? That's how we'll uh, include this header file. Then from there, we can go ahead and make our call to std print. So we'll do std print, and here we'll do the classic um, hello world, right? We don't need to have any arguments here. Um, we can just print out this string as is. Now, one of the things you might notice, right, is we get this, um, this, this error, right, when our program was compiled. And it said that std um, print here, right, is not a member, or print is not a member of uh, std, or the standard namespace. Now, the reason for this is our compiler often doesn't use the most recent version of C++. It often defaults to an older version of C++, so maybe in this case something like C++20 or C++17. So in order to specify a version of C++, right, remember if we look at std print, it said that this is from C++23, we can go ahead and add dash dash std equals C++23, right? And this is our compiler flags here. And you can see that after we add this, our compiler you know, knows the correct version now. So it knows that std print does exist. It's going to grab the correct header file for C++23, and it prints out hello world as we expect. So here, right, we can also add, if we want to, say, a positional argument, and maybe we'll just put, you know, the integer one there. And you can see that updated on the right-hand side of the screen, now we're printing out hello world one, right? So that's going to be the basics of using this std print. Now, there's other method, methods of printing in C++. So there's things like std c out, and uh, even things going back to C, like printf. And these are things we're going to touch on in later videos, but std print is the latest iteration of how we can print things in C++ and do so in a pretty clean way. 
But that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Just like all of our videos, I'll put a link to this example um, right below, as well as a link to the CPP reference documentation for Stidprint. But that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.